I think I mess around with this team a little bit more, yeah. I think what would be cool... I'm so close to having an all-shiny team, but, like, Charizard works way better than Agron. Maybe sometime in the future we can just have, like, a fun all-shiny team. It'll probably happen when we get the opportunity for a Great League, because I have a lot more Pokemon to play around with for a Great League than Ultra League, but we'll see. I think I want to start off with this team because it's a little less conventional, but we'll have to see if I can actually remember how to use it. You know, look. Uh, I, I just see the wavy bars for the desktop audio being so high, and I get real paranoid that the music's going to be too loud, but it's about where it was last time, if not softer, and... It was a little soft at the time. Regardless, we're here for battling, so battling's what we'll do. And I'm actually not sure how the internet's gonna hold up, because I think, like, everyone's all home here doing their own thing. And here I am, like, doing two things at once. But I'll just chuck it up to, like, if things go wrong, then things go wrong. Hmm. Wasn't actually expecting to force a swap there, and... Honestly, like, maybe it would have been better to go into my own Swampert. But I'm just a little concerned about the whole Diddle matchup. Because I know the IVs on my Swampert aren't great. So, I know, like, Nice Lash is neutral. So I kind of just want to play that out a little bit and see what happens. Am I hoping for attack boost hacks? No, I'm not relying on them, but they... Definitely wouldn't hurt. So, you just gotta. At the very least, I wanna get up to one more nice slash and just get enough chip damage off on the swamp or that I can just justify letting it go down. So, I got the shield, but I did get the attack boost. Is it worth shielding, though? No. It's not. But I'm going to play a little bit of a risky game. And I paid dearly for it. So I'm already in a huge advantage. I feel like I kind of like lost before the battle even started. Well, no, I feel like that was my dumb play and being experimental cost me that particular battle. But I'm going to see if I can like pull something through. We got Hariana in here, so it might be possible to like have something work out in the very end. Because I got like Swamp, still gotta worry about Swamper, but on the bright side, at least I still have my Swamper in the back, so like, Ampharos can do his job here, and I just realized the biggest downside is like, everything is falling on to Swamper's role. And I, I thought I could take it out before I went down, but at least I can take it out before it uses this energy on me. And of course, I was saving a close combat just for that particular situation. And he swaps out anyways? Yeah, oh yeah, I completely forgot about that Dragonite out in the front. Yeah, good game. It was kind of over when I had that dumb play with the scissor earlier on. Honestly, like, the match could have probably been over the moment I brought scissor in against a Swampert. But I'm going to learn from those past mistakes and try the team again. Because when I am in my A game, I feel like this team can do fairly well. Whether I'm in my A game or my rank rating's just so low that it feels like that's the reason I'm winning, well, there's nothing that can prove that one way or the other. But all I can do is just be modest and learn. Swamp Polyrath versus Ampharos is a fair setup. Like, yeah, I'm weak to the quick move, but... Mudshot is purely just for energy gaining and not, like, damage boosting. And I'm not too scared of Ice Punch either. I'm a little worried about Dynamic Punch, but, like, here's the thing with Ampharos versus Polyrath. There's no mind games to it. You're not going to Focus Blast it when you can just Thunder Punch, so it's pretty much up to them if they want to use up their shields or not. Like, eh, I might shield the next one if I don't, like, farm it down with energy in that. It feels a little silly to use a shield early on, but... Did they use a shield on me or am I getting that mixed up with the last match? I am. 
Though it's worth it to consider some health with Ampharos so I can, like, come into this next one full force. S even though, like, the Polyrath matchup is a lot better for me, I'm, there's a similar strategy going on with Ampharos versus Granbull, with the whole fact of just, like... I got no reason to go for Focus Blast, this time because it's resisted, not because my other move is super effective. So we're going through. Oh, nice, I got both shields in a row. That's amazing for me, because I could just go in with Scissor. And I'm honestly not sure where I just want to try to farm it for energy or go for that Iron Head. <laughs> I might actually just compromise and go for the Night Slash run and get up to it. But it'll depend on what charge moves they have. Yeah, I didn't take that as well as I thought I would. You gotta get out of there. But this is good for me. I have to switch advantage. And so they can't do anything to protect their Charizard. They have no shields. No way to switch out. And <laughs> that's kind of how I expected that match to go. I set up. So we had one loss, one win. Not a bad start. Let's see how this next one goes. I'm actually loving the fact that I have Ampharos out here. It's not quite enough to justify building an Ampharos that actually fits Ultra League subs in that. Okay, I don't think the audio's too loud. It's blasting in my ears, but the bars aren't any higher than they were before. <laughs> I think the music kind of just, like, throws up the game. Maybe you could say glitch it out. Hey, our goal here is not really raiding as much as just, like, get the Pokemon prize. That's at least my personal goal. Because I'm content with rank 8. Rank 9 would be cool, but I've only gotten rank 9 in the preseason. And looking back, I have no idea how, besides the fact that it was the preseason. And most people were waiting for season 1 to really get started. So, the Dragon Knight swapped the last time I had this lead set up. Which confused me a little because it didn't really seem that great. But I'll stay in again and see how it works out. Okay, I can take the Dragon Claw. But do I take it well enough to be worth it? Well, considering like how quickly they can get up to it, I don't want to waste a shield on it either. Alright. We're either going to get the shield advantage, have more shields than they do. Or I'm going to see how much damage the Thunder Punch does. And I will happily take the shield. And I'll happily take getting another Thunder Punch off right before I go down. Yeah, this may not be the most ideal. But I, yeah, I will take sacrificing my Ampharos to be in a situation where I have two shields and they have none. So I'm just going to go and Scissor. And... It could do Hurricane, but I'm not scared of Hurricane. That's the only thing that can really do to hurt me, though. And most of the time, Dragonites don't really find that worth it. Um, is swapping the Excavator worth it? Oh yeah, they have, my opponent has no shield, so I could just like go up for Earthquake, take it, and they wouldn't be able to do anything about it. That said, eh, I guess I'll... It's a good thing I didn't shield, because that happened. I was just about tempted to shield, because like, I have two shields. My other Pokemon took a little bit of damage from that Dragonite. It might be worth just conserving my health in case I need Swampert for both of them. But I'm glad I didn't actually shield. Because that would have been a complete waste of a shield. And now with my defense lower, I can save my shield for the next Pokemon coming in. Unfortunately, it is Dragonite. So, uh, we'll see. Like, Hydro Cannon is strong, so even though it's resisted, I might... Be able to do dam some damage? Yeah, that was definitely at least worth, like... That was worth the plays I made. It's a little scary, because I have my Scissor versus two Pokemon, but I also have two Shields, and I think it's time to start using them. It feels a little waste to use Shields against Dragon Claw, but I have two Shields, and this is my last Pokemon, so I need to make every inch of my health count. And we got that Muck leaning out the back. I guess I'll go for one Night Slash, because I think Iron Head resists his. This is neutral, and I could get the attack boost, which could make a huge difference. Yeah, I mean, with how low... Yeah, with how freaking low my health is compared to his, I definitely needed that attack boost. Uh, sucks that I have to be so reliant on it, but yeah, it definitely added up. <laughs> I think that attack boost 
and the second Night Slash really, like, allowed me to catch back up. Or at least being able to get to two Night Slashes in general before they got to their move. So, if I can get to one more Night Slash, I got this in the bag. And that is why I like trying to conserve my shields in the early part of the match. Because if you have them for the later part when you actually can do things, when you actually know the opponent's team and all that, there's a lot more to play around with. And you know exactly which of your Pokemon you actually need to conserve and which ones you can just go... Mm. Oh hey, I think I actually know where <laughs> Lurup's closing theme is now. I mean, in hindsight, it makes perfect sense that it'd be part of Glitch City's music. But I don't think I've actually heard this song before on her channel, so... That, that was a little bit of a surprise. Okay, Ampharos versus Umbreon. I kind of wish I ran into this matchup like later on. Also, I just realized I've never actually seen Umbreon in Ultra League. Neither Premier or the other one. Okay, actually, can I like trick them out? Like Anyone who's actually counting their charge moves know that I can't do the Focus Blast. But if I can get a free shield. Yeah, they were probably counting. I would have honestly go for... That, folk, that Thunder Punch either way. But now I don't know if they're like not suspecting the Focus Blast, or they just knew that I didn't have the energy for it. Um, ugh. I don't, I hate to use shields against an Umbreon, but Ampharos is getting chipped away a bit quicker than I thought it would. So, one more time with the bait. This time, I actually have enough energy to pull it off. I feel like anyone that actually, mm, either they're a mind reader or they just don't realize that Ampharosis like to carry Focus Blast. Because if that was me, I'm like, uh oh, pretty sure that Focus Blast is coming. I mean, it's fine because I actually was able to take it out without <laughs> going for the Focus Blast. I do hate the fact that they have the shield advantage, but I do ha at least have the Pokemon advantage. And I am going to get a solid amount of damage. It'd be nice if I could get this Machamp to use up his energy before going down. But yeah, they had no reason not to farm off for energy. <sighs> I'm going to go with... It's tricky, but I think like Swampert is a little bit better of a resistor. And you swap to the Charizard. I think your button... I think your finger was on that swap button a little too quick. I mean... I'm telling... I lose out on the switch advantage, I think, just because there's... I got no reason not to swap. I have... Swamper has a huge advantage. Yeah, like, even if you save up enough energy for a blast burn, I'm not afraid. It hurts, but... It's not afraid, and I can just shield the next one. And if I get both shields from you... That's even better. Of course, I would feel a bit more encouraged if I actually got... A hydro cannon off. But that's what it is. It's definitely worth using a shield here. And even if it is a dragon claw, I probably would have feigned that dragon claw at this health range to be perfectly honest. So I don't regret that choice. <sighs> I'm just really hoping that this hydro cannon does a lot of work. Charizard are strong but frail and well that's a little bit jerkish. He's like swapped right on a sliver of health. So, I hate using my scissor against this last guy, but we'll see how much this Machamp does. If I can, like, get... My ideal situation would be to take out this Machamp with just enough energy to go for a nice slash, just in case, like, they have the energy save up for a Blast Burn. Because that's my losing condition, like, if they do a Blast Burn as soon as they come back in. But I'm so low on health, I might have to just do the nice slash now to ensure I don't, like, get... die to the counters and all that. So we'll see. It basically comes down to if that Charizard has enough energy to do the Blast Burn when it comes in. And it does not. <laughs> and you've got that attack boost for a little bit of overkill. Alright, is that my last... That's surprisingly not my last battle for this set. It's actually feeling pretty good, because... It's kind of weird that this... I was using the other team a bit, and I'll be honest, the past couple sets I did off-screen weren't quite really working out with this particular... with the other team. 
So, and this team just feels a little bit more, like, on the fly, like, less meta, I guess would be a good way to put it. So, the problem with Ampharos and Focus Blast is it takes so much energy, even with a good quick move like Bolt Switch, to actually get up to it. And I'm gonna go for Thunder Punch here, just in case they want to shield. I think even if they don't, Thunder Punch will still do a good chunk. But yeah, that is definitely the right play. Question is, do I shield back? Sangu's has some strong moves, but I think I'll be okay. Oh, I was not expecting them to do like two nice slashes in a row, though. So definitely shooting now, and gonna go for that thunder punch, bro. Ah, but now I want to like farm them from energy, and I pay for that. So it's. It's going to be rough, but I think that I can justify doing that. And I'm just going to go for the Focus Blast right here. I'm really weak. And Thunder Punch is going to do... I'm so weak I don't think I'd be able to do two Thunder Punches anyways. Cool. <laughs> Maybe I can. <laughs> Freaking was able to do a Focus Blast and a Thunder Punch. Like, wow. I mean, on one hand, like, I could have swapped and kept the Switch Advantage, but... Eh, it's a Sand Goose. My other Pokemon can handle it a little later on. It's kind of good for me because I think I'm safe to just, like, do quick attacks until it faints. Which is good because I need every advantage I can have when my opponent has a shield advantage. I always feel so naked when I use my shields up before my opponent. But at least I got enough to just throw a nice slash in. Unless there's, like, a good reason to swap. Polyrath seemed like a good reason to swap to me. Maybe not the best reason, especially because I can't shield. But at the, I was thinking like they still were on locked with the switch timer. Now, I'm probably going to pay for that because like... I have to go for Hydro Cannon. Because they can just shield my Earthquake and I can't really afford to waste the energy of having my Earthquake blocked. Question is, can I get up to another Earthquake? Uh, no. If I lift this, of course I'm going to go for the Hydro Camp, but I don't, especially if they're going for the Dynamic Punch again, I'm not going to lift this. So, welcome to Bad Place, I cost the game, the game. <laughs> I think my best shot here is like going for Nice Slashes to get the attack boost. But it does resist it, so I think it's just good game. I do have one sh yeah, right. I used up my shield so early on. So, yeah. Maybe if I stayed in with Scissor. Ugh. I don't know if even if I stayed in with Scissor, if that would have been a good play. The, I think the issue just is, like, Ampharos was my answer to that. And because it was my lead, I lost it. And kind of lost the set match because of that. But hey, we got a Pokemon prize. What could it possibly be? Oh, Dratini. Eh, not bad. I mean, I have more Dratini candies than I ever would actually need. But, like, I can't complain about Dratini as a whole to the community. Because, like, Dragonite's, like, all over the place in Ultra Leagues and all that. And, hey, <laughs> rating actually went up a tiny bit. So, that's going to do it for this set. Going to just, like, check out the Pokemon we have here. And I'll see y'all for the next one if you're not watching.